Okay folks, getting ready to build a new project here. Um, it's going to take basic materials. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to create a notch the same width as a 4x4 and half the depth. Uh, so that way I can create a cross brace out of another 4x4. So it'll make sense when you see it. Again, I'm just laying out the cross brace. I kind of drew up some rough plans on paper to get a materials list. So I measured in six inches and nine and a half inches. which is roughly three and a half inches. And then I'm going to get another four by four and do some test cuts to get the depth correct. So the depth will be half of three and a half, uh, 1.75. So now just to get everything chopped out. What I'm going to do now is use a hammer to bust this out and then I can come back with a wood chisel and clean out these bottoms. Okay all I did off camera was laid out the other layout lines. I basically lined the board up, I'll kind of show you here. I lined the board up on the ends and then just extended the lines and then I laid out the lines on this other end and then um, there's a third 12 foot 4x4 that needs to be cut in half and I've laid out that line also and I'm basically going to since my saw uh, Porter cable saw doesn't cut all the way through a 4x4 I'm going to lay it on top of the existing ones, cut halfway through it, flip it over, finish it out. That will give me my short sides when I split that third. Which is roughly halfway through. Then we'll... I don't feel like readjusting the saw horses is why I'm doing it this way. So now I've got two six by six foot sections that will be the short pieces that go this way that connect the two long pieces and I'm basically going to notch them the same way. And back to getting these other ends cut out. So actually, I think I want to go ahead and finish up these last two ends off camera and go ahead and sharpen this chisel also. I got the long pieces cut yesterday and I got the short pieces measured. And basically on the short pieces, which will be the sides, you're going to measure in three and a half inches. 
and you're going to clean it out the same way we did the long edges. the hammer to break it and we'll use my now sharpened chisel to clean it out we'll call that one good so we'll do this for the other three ends and then we'll bring you back but you can kind of see now how this is going to go together and I've got these laid out in order to dry fit them which I'll show here in a minute uh, but you kind of get the idea now all right excuse me if I'm out of breath now you kind of see what I mean by dry fit um, I had to rig something up I didn't have another pair of saw horses and this really needed to be up off the ground so you can kind of see how it goes together. But now that I have the dry fit done and ready to go, what I need to do now is glue these pieces and then screw them together. Um, because this is a critical part of the assembly, I want them to be glued and screwed. I want to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. And then once that's done, screw it all down. I'm using 10 by three and a half screws. Put one screw in it to hold it, then let the clamp off, put the other one in. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but I was actually drawing these, putting these in at an angle because they're three and a half, which is the same thickness as these. So if you place the head under the wood, they would stick out the other side. But if you put them in at an angle, they don't. So once you have this base done, just like this, this is really the hardest part, in my opinion, because everything else is gonna be just like framing walls. So, uh, be pretty easy after this part. <laughs> 